Hey guys, this is my review of the Paranoid Android ROM version 3.1 for the Galaxy Note GT N7000 and this ROM is based on the Android 4.2.2 Jelly Bean. Okay, there you go. So guys, hit link 1 from the description for the installation method and link 2 will lead you to the ROM thread so you can download the ROM from there. So guys, before going on to the review, I'd like to mention that as a uh, we don't get any touchwiz functions like the air view, multi window, the motion controls and the S Pen functionalities with this ROM as it's an AOSP based ROM. So let's go ahead and get into the review. As this ROM is based on the Android 4.2.2, you do get all the goodies from the Android 4.2.2. The first one here is the Daydream. Okay, there you have it, Daydream. The next one is the multi user support. We don't actually need the multi-user support for phones, but still it's good to know that we have this feature added to We even have hybrid properties and uh, other customizations options. I'll come back to it in a minute. And uh, we don't get the developer options by default. So what you need to do is go to about phone and hit the build number seven times. Okay, there you have it. Now we have developer options. Even, you know, right from the lock screen, you have this uh, CRT of animation there you go and you can add additional widgets on your lock screen there you go you also have this navigation bar at the bottom and pulling down your notification with a single finger will give you the no general notifications pulling it down with your two finger will give you general toggles you also can switch to the toggle space from this icon if you tap it you'll have these toggles all right and when you download any app from the Play Store, you'll have this remaining time soon, alright? So that's a new add-on to this Android 4.2.2. And guys, whenever I open my Play Store, you know, the navigation bar, color, and the battery icons changes. It's due to this uh, hybrid properties. I will get back to it. So let's go ahead and see what do we get with this ROM. We have the basic Google Apps, you know, like the Jelly Bean camera. DSP Manager have been added to this ROM. It enhances your music quality, Google Earth. File Manager, Galaxy Note Settings, Go Manager helps you update your ROM, Play Music, Play Store, Torch and so on. You have the basic Google Apps. You can go ahead and download any additional apps. The ROM is really light, really fast, no issues. So guys, basically you don't have any issues with the Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, GPS and uh, any other functionality. Everything works great. Even the camera here works good, you know. Uh, if you tap and hold a certain area, you get additional options. You can rotate your camera, flash on off, zoom in and zoom out, all right. And, uh, you know, you can take pictures under various lightings and uh, you can just switch on to the settings, additional settings. So you, you get it over here, you know, the scene mode, picture size and so on. So guys, one thing I'd like to mention here is, you know, you can see the photosphere icon, but it doesn't work, all right. It, uh, you'll get a crash once you open it sorry your device is not yet supported so nevertheless you know if you want to go ahead and try AOSP ROMs uh, Paranoid Android is one of the best ROMs even in terms of stability and uh, battery life so far I have had a good experience with battery life as well so the camera works but uh, even if you have the options of uh, you know the photosphere that doesn't work so that's a negative here so other than that you don't have any lags here no crashes everything works let me just launch a few app here okay no issues so no issues and no crashes guys so it's uh, working good so let's move on to settings now So the main thing here, you know, with this ROM is the hybrid properties and additional options, you know, to customize your status bar, the battery icon and so on. So it's pretty much the same with other AOSP ROMs as well, you know, you can change your battery icon. You can do your basic customizations like slow clock, uh, AMPM style, notification count and so on. So guys, you also have Pi controls with this ROM. So here are the trigger area, normal, Pi gravity. Um, right so I'm just doing the basic setup all right okay so what you need to do is uh, you know you need to 
get on to this uh, expanded desktop mode okay so once you are on your expanded desktop mode you just need to swipe all right and you will have your pie controls all right you have this navigation buttons at the bottom and if you swipe to this part of this pie you'll get your general notifications all right and if you swipe to this part you'll have your general toggles so pretty good so let's move on to the hybrid properties now so you have this uh, stock UI, uh, Fablet UI, you have various UI here and you get three tablet UI with various DPIs. You can go ahead, if you select it, you need to reboot and uh, you will see the change. At this end of the video, I will just show it to you. So let's go on to the PA colors, that's the per app color and uh, you know you can define your own colors. This is what uh, that turns my colors of my navigation buttons and my uh, battery icons to orange when I open up my play store. So you can get a list of apps here and you can change the color from here you just need to select that color for google play store you can select black or whatever all right once done hit apply and uh it will take some time guys or you need to reboot your phone to see that change okay and now let's go ahead and uh, just change the dpi mode see i want the tablet ui mode i select it hit apply okay now that's done Rebooting the phone. So guys, we are up here and uh, I had my expanded desktop enabled so you couldn't see that change and now we have this uh, true tablet UI mode. Navigation bar at the bottom, notifications here and so on. So, so this is how it works guys. Uh, this ROM is good, you know, if you don't want this uh, multi-window and so on just for a change. If you want a fast, you know, light ROM, go for it. And uh, any app that you get with this ROM doesn't crashes. All works great. All the functionalities works great. So that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Stay subscribed. I'll be coming up with more videos. Bye bye now, and have a great day.